What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about a good way to farm renown, gold, materials, and aspects all at once if you're playing in a group. Now this is something that is very simple to do, but before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, which everyone is welcome to join my Twitter. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. Now when it comes to this, you're going to want to do this on world tier one because you're not worried about the gear that you're receiving to be wearing. You're just worried about the gear that you're receiving to either sell for gold or for materials. But the biggest part of this is going to be the renown and the aspects you get. So you want to either have a group of you and one friend, so two players, three players, or four players. And then you're going to all split up into different zones on the map. When you split up different zones on the map, you're all going to take a certain zone and run all the dungeons in that zone individually. So each of you are going to be in a different dungeon. And I know a lot of people probably like myself thought, how am I going to get, you know, the aspect from a dungeon if I'm not in it? If you're in a group and your friend completes that dungeon, you're going to get that aspect. When you complete your dungeon, they're going to get your aspect and so on. So you do not have to be in the dungeon with them. You only have to be in the group with them. And that's why I said, turn it down to world tier one. I pretty much just ran through all the ads um, and, you know, kind of grouped them up in spots, killed them really quickly, did the objectives, killed the boss, got the aspect. And in an hour's time with two players, uh, me and one friend, we probably got nine to ten aspects in about an hour. If you had four people doing this, three to four people doing this, you're going to be able to get a lot more aspects a lot quicker. And this is one way to get all 115 aspects in the game. Because solo, they're going to take, it's going to take you a good while, even in World Tier 1, to do this. But the great thing about this along the way is you're going to pick up gold, of course, off of, you know, just everything in the dungeon, chest, enemies, whatever the case may be. But you're also going to get gear, and you're going to get legendary gear, and you're going to get rare gear. Now, of course, if you're already to the point like I'm at, and you're playing in World Tier 3, none of this gear is really going to be useful for you to wear. The great thing about it is, not only are you getting aspects from farming the dungeons, you also can pull off the aspects from the legendary gear that you get. You can sell some of these legendary gear pieces for upwards of twenty to 40,000 gold a piece. And you also can break down the rare, as, uh, the rare gear excuse me, for all kinds of materials. Or you could break down the legendaries for materials. So this is a great way to farm, like I said, gold, material, uh, aspects off of gear and aspects from your codex, along with renown. Of course, Renown is a great thing in-game to have a lot of in each individual zone. And you can tier that up as well into different things to unlock. Gold, skill points, uh, obol, uh, carry capacity, or obol capacity, how many you can have on you. Uh, Paragon points, uh, of course, how many potions you have. So this is a great way to do that as well. So you're able to farm a lot of different things doing this. Like I said, just crank it down to World Tier 1. Get you and one more friend, or you and three more friends everyone split up into different regions and complete those dungeons in that region and just move from region to region. Everyone will unlock the renown in those zones. Everyone's going or whatever zone that you're in. But the main thing is you're going to be unlocking those aspects from your codex for the entire group, even though you're the only one running that specific dungeon. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.